Have you ever fallen asleep while reading the Bible or, or listening to a sermon or going to church? I mean, if you have fallen asleep as you uh, read the Bible or, or as you listen to a sermon, as you watch a sermon, or even when you're at church, don't feel alone. There's a lot of people who have. And today we're going to dig into some of those issues as we study God's Word. Let's pray together. Father God, we pray that as we open the Bible, your Holy Spirit will help us and will lead us in the digging of the Bible. Thank you. Amen. In Jesus, his powerful name, which is the only one that can enable us to pray to you. We praise you in advance for the blessings to come. Amen. Amen. All right, my friends, I want to share with you um, the, the scripture from, uh, from today's message is Acts chapter, nine, ver chapter 20, verse 9. Uh, here's what the Bible is telling me. Let me look for it here and let's read it together. Acts nine, uh, 20, verse 9. Seated in a window, there was a young man named Eutychus who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Now, I decided to do the streaming straight from, uh, from the window, by the window, just with the purpose of uh, illustrating what we're talking about. Paul was talking in a light, in a, in a room full of plenty of lights. Now, this, this room where I'm at, there's plenty of light here. But, um, but it's not the type of room that we're talking about. The lights that, the, that they used at that time were lights uh, of real fire, right? So it is very likely that if there were many lamps at that place, that uh, Eutychus was uh, sitting by the window because Eutychus was trying to look for a spot where he could breathe because the lamps would have taken all the air that was uh, breathable or perhaps there was a lot of people in the room. If there were many lamps, it's very likely that there was a lot of people now remember Remember that Paul was there for just a few hours. He knew next day he would have to sail away. So that's part of the reason he decided to keep speaking on and on and on. And I, I, I wonder sometimes in our churches if perhaps the sermons, the, 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 the worship services uh, have the adults so engaged in conversations and in different things that we don't even realize there's a lot of young people who might be by the window and we don't realize they might fall asleep. We might not realize they might be uh, just into their phones, uh, watching YouTube, uh, doing social media, uh, getting distracted from the world or even falling into temptation. I'm going to encourage you to uh, take care of the Eutychus that might be in your life or in your church. Could it be that Eutychus sat by the window because there was no room for him? My friends, let's make room for Eutychus. Let make, let's make room for the young people in our, in our church. Let's make room for those who are new to the gospel and may not think exactly the way we think. Let's make room for different people in our community of worship. Let's make room for Eutychus. Let's make room for different people. Let, let's think about others. You know, one of the, the things that caused Eutychus' death 
is that Paul's sermon was extremely long. And I'm not going to blame Paul for that. He knew that he needed to preach the gospel on that day. He knew that his visit was going to be a blessing for the church. And he wanted to take advantage of every single moment during that night. And uh, my friends, I don't blame him for that. I'm not going I'm gonna, I'm not gonna to say it was, it was, it was, it was uh, his fault. But when Paul preached on and on and on, Eutychus fell asleep. Could it be that we're preaching on and on and on and our young people are falling asleep? Our kids are falling asleep. Maybe the newcomers to the church don't understand the whole thing and are falling asleep. Let's make room for Eutychus. Another lesson I learned from this is that sometimes our people at church do fall. Sometimes our people at church do fall into temptation. Some stray away from the church. How about we restore those who fail? How about we restore those who fall and those who fail? Eutychus failed. Eutychus failed. Eutychus was embraced by Paul. Paul went down to a place where there was uh, this body, dead body. People found out that Eutychus was dead. But Paul did nothing but embracing him instead of criticizing him because he was sitting at the window. Instead of criticizing him that he was on his phone digging into Facebook, YouTube uh, or something else. You know, I don't know what Eutychus was doing. I'm trying to contextualize these things. But Eutychus was, was falling asleep. He was, he was, the Bible tells me, let me read it straight. He was sinking into a deep sleep. This is crazy. He was sinking into a deep sleep. Uh, maybe some people at church are sinking into a deep sleep and we don't realize until they fall and they die and they are victims of whatever is going on in, in their surroundings. Maybe victims of their own temptations. Maybe victims of Satan's uh, delusions. Whatever happens, but there's a lot of people who are dying because they are slumbering. They are sleeping into the church, in, into the gospel. Some people don't realize it's time to wake up from our slumber. Uh, let me read from the scriptures in Romans chapter 13 verse 11 and this is the third lesson I want to bring on to you. The lesson is it's time for us to wake up from our slumber. Here's what it says at uh, Romans 13 11 and do this understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. We need to wake up from our slumber, from our sleep, from our uh, not so active Christian life. We need to tell the Lord that He can guide us, He can do what He wants in our lives and not have us do our own will. My friends, so three things to remember. One, let's make room for Eutychus. Two, let's restore those who fall. And three, it's time to wake up from our slumber. May those thoughts come to your life today as you go on for the rest of your day. God bless you.